Hello everyone, today we got autofill, and we are playing our secondary role as mid lane, and we are up against a Cassidy. This is a D2, D1, X Master lobby, and I'm going to show you how I beat a Cassidy mid. Enjoy. These are the runes I take. We always go for level 1 cheese, because Seraphine's level 1 is super, super strong compared to other champions. And as long as we group up and go mid, we should be able to get a pick. So, we go mid, and prep for level 1 invade. By starting through the level 1 bush right here, we will not be spotted unless they are immediately in that bush. So we'll always be the first one there. We see Cassidy, and I actually use an E, and land it, forcing Cassidy to burn a flash. This helps my mid lane much better, so I can do much more harass and have kill Bird Asher. Don't let Cassidy free farm in this lane. Whenever he goes to harass for a farm or whatever, Always harass him back. You want to be able to beat him in early game because his late game is stronger than us. His pre six is very weak, and we are actually surprisingly stronger. So whenever you get a chance, harass him and get your passive POM stacks. Every time Casting goes for a minion, always use your abilities on him. Right there, I could have killed him if I actually landed in my Q. So just keep pressuring him. We're not afraid of getting ganked here. Get Raves is top side, so we can keep the pressure up. Speed this up, try to shove a lane for Udyr, and just keep the pressure going. We don't want them to free farm. Hover the other side of the map. Flash, E, auto. First kill for us. Enemy's dead, hard shut the wave, and look for a nice reset. Cast has TP, I TP as well, and I keep shoving waves. Lost Chapter makes it much easier to shove waves. Cassidy is still not level 6, so we can keep harassing him, getting him weak, so he can't all in us. Keep harassing him. Hover to the side of the map where you don't think enemies are. Shove a lane, and I look for a roam. Because we shove a lane, we get this prio, so that we can roam. R, Q, auto, W, back off. No kill combo, but it was good enough to help the map, and we have to shove mid. Back to the same mission, just keep shoving lanes. Bot's getting ahead. I shove a lane, I look for a roam. I go bottom. Ult's not up right now. I start my combo. I E, I miss it, and slowly attack the enemy. Getting them low. Every time I use an ability or auto, I move. Get a kill on Soraka. And I try to get a kill on Nyla here. Unfortunately, my combo isn't ready, so I don't do the full damage, and I can't kill her. If I had a full combo, I could definitely kill the Nyla here. Oh well. For some reason, I thought I was safe being here. I don't know why. I just thought I was definitely safe, but I didn't realize the whole team was actually here. So I just died for it. Bad row angle, my fault. I TP back in on the revive, and now I have a good angle for a nice ult. Just watch what I do. R, E, double Q, most damage I can deal in Seraphine. And just keep throwing abilities and walking and kiting. Every time I use an ability, walk backwards. And now we're ahead, so run him down. Flashy. Beautiful. Keep shoving waves and looking for another option. I look for a bot gank. Team doesn't need me. We have Pry for Dragon. Keep the tempo going. Keep shoving lanes and looking for options. It's very easy to do in your mid lane. Keep the whole map available to you. See things going on in top lane? I shove mid, get prio, roam top. I have my whole combo ready just in case. I prep it, so I have pink spells before this fight. And we play it slow. Watch what happens.
That fight I was patient. And he was able to get us a double kill. Always go back mid. Shove our lanes as fast as possible. Look for a reset or other options on the map. Fiendish Codex is broken, so pick that up first. Bot lane's gone, so we have to swap over a bot laner. And go bot. Seraphim is going to be bot all game, so always look to go back to mid. I R. I flash backwards, so I'm always in the back of my team. Double Q. We get no kill here, but we get a tower of our Rift Heralds. And we can run them down a bit. Keep shoving lanes. Udio's next to me, so I know I'm safe. Kassin's dead. Nothing to be afraid of. Shove a lane. Look for options. R. E. Double Q. Pick Nyla. Follow up. And Soraka's too fast, so we can't get her. But that's how we combo it. Positioning in the back line. Always the first one back of my team. Double E will cancel Cylon's Q. And always in the back line. Remember the front line. Always hiding backwards from the enemy. Keep getting kills. Shove the lane. And then look for the fight. Prep our R. R. E. And then we don't have to use double Q, so use double W now and speed up our team. Just get the combo working. Use easy kills. It's all teamwork. We know everyone was dead, so please shove lanes as far as you can. I have Udyr here, so I have someone to back me up. Keep shoving lanes. This is your biggest deal. Surprise of an R. E, double Q, easy kill on Soraka. Shove back more lanes, get more prio, look for options. Fights keep breaking out, I'm doing nothing fancy, I'm always in the back line. Nyla pushes me in, I flash away, I'm always in the back line, look at this. I never go in the front. We are overpowered if we do this. Always be in the back line of Seraphine. At this point, I should just buy Mage Eyes. I was completely confused what to buy. My gold is so awkward. But at this stage in the game, Mage Eyes could have been a better idea. Remember, we don't want to make any montage plays. Just play consistent. We don't have to do anything crazy in this champion. Play to our champ's identity, and we'll win more games. I promise you. I did nothing fancy this entire game. Objectives up, it's consistent, take objectives with 4 towers, it's much easier. It's free, enemies that get to defend mid, easy dragon. Back from base, fight, R, E, can't double Q, so I double W. Helps my team speed up to catch up to the fight. Always be in the back line. I'm never getting hit by silence Qs. Kite away between every ability. Good positioning is a key to Seraphine. At three items, we're doing like 400 plus health shields for our whole team. This champion is amazing at scaling, so remember, the longer the game goes, the better our champ gets. Instead of going direct to the Baron, always shove a lane first. We don't do much damage on Seraphine. We're better at shoving a lane and then walking away. That way, there'll be a slow push to the enemy tower, and draw more pressure for nothing. Once you have at least two items, you can actually solo raptors much easier. Just do a double Q, followed by another EQ, and 
it should be able to finish it off easier. Seraphine's pretty weak at taking jungle camps, but the ones with a lot of minions is much easier. Mid has super minions, top slow pushing, TP bot lane, help our team, and siege and towers, and prep our old combo. Pink spells are ready. Take your tower first. And then be in the back line, preparing a nice extended R from across the map. R, E, and then walk it in. I didn't use Q here because I wanted more CC, so I just did R, double E. Both would have been perfectly fine here, though. And this is how we win the game. So, thank you guys so much for watching. Again, my name is Odie. I do Seraphine educational content Monday for Friday, about four episodes a week. If you want to see more educational content like this, please like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you later. Have a great rest of your day. Bye-bye.